Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Johnny Trucking. <laughs> Today I'm actually going to be cooking something that's really quick to make. It's very healthy for you and it's very delicious and doesn't take very long to make. It just and it consists of only three items. So it consists of one chicken breast, actually four items. So chicken breast, I'm going to make it with some turkey bacon then also have a sweet kale salad mix it's already pre-made from the grocery store and I'm gonna put all of the ingredients in that yummy goodness on a wrap so I'm, being, I'm going to be making chicken, chicken bacon ranch wraps. That's what I'm going to be making today. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off. Obviously, what I usually start off with is got to season, got to got to prep my chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and get that prepped. Chicken all nice and prepped. So I'll take it kind of one piece at a time here. I'm not gonna cut it, I'm not gonna cut the pieces just yet because I'm gonna season them first. So season. Just gonna put some regular ground black pepper. Salt. It's kind of your standard seasoning for, for a chicken breast. You can also season it with uh, different kinds of spices and whatnot if you want. I think what I do, because I have a couple pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and make all of this because I'm gonna cut it into cubes here in a minute. So I'm gonna do about half of these like this with salt and pepper, regular pepper. So just, you know, black ground pepper. And then, yeah, so I'll do three and three. Because it looks like I got six in this pack. All of this, as far as cost is concerned, it was five. It was about $5 for this chicken breast here. And then the salad, the salad kit that I got, that was a... Uh, about four dollars for the for the bag and then the uh the wraps were another three dollars so all in all probably if we do the if we do the quick the quick math on everything and of course the turkey bacon too so about another three dollars there so three four I'm trying to do quick math in my head <laughs> so five eight so oh, under 20 bucks, about $15 for all these ingredients. So not bad, $15. Uh, it's gonna, all of this that once I'm done cooking it is gonna get me a long way versus, you know, just sometimes when you're out here, you could easily spend $15 on one meal that's gonna sustain you for the night. And then you gotta figure out what the, what's gonna happen for the next day. So sometimes it's just, it's better to prep. It does take some time, but better to prep it's better to do that because you can spend under twenty dollars and have meals for at least two to three days if not maybe even four depending on what you're cooking and how you and how much you consume versus paying fifteen dollars in a day well, you could end up paying ten to fifteen dollars a day if you decide to eat out every day out here it's also very unhealthy for you okay so then with these last three i'm going to do something a little bit different i'm going to still going to use salt right to season to season this but i'm also going i'm going to change the kind of pepper that i'm using instead of using just a regular black uh, black peppercorn i'm actually going to change to this peppercorn medley that i got from the grocery store it's a mixture of uh, black peppercorns white peppercorns green peppercorns and uh, pink peppercorn so it's literally a medley of different kinds of peppercorns with the differences between this one difference between this one 
and the other and just using regular black one is that man it, it adds a little extra kick to the to the chicken so these are going to be a little extra spicy the other ones are just kind of normal you know mild but these with the mixture of the different peppercorns is going to be a little bit more spicy a little bit more on the spicy side it's a pretty nice little blend here season and then after i'm done seasoning we got this last one here after i'm done seasoning then the next thing i'm gonna do is cut them into squares for the for the wraps it's up to you really if you want to if you want to do the squares for your wraps or if you want if you prefer just to do the or if you prefer just to do it um with strips, that's fine, but you do get a little bit more quantity out of the out of cutting them into squares. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start bringing the chickens back over here. I'm gonna start off with the peppercorns. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these into squares. So I'm gonna square there, square there. What I liked about these organic chicken breasts that I got is that they virtually no fat on them it's all mostly just meat so i don't have to worry i don't have to i don't have to sit here wasting my time cutting uh, i don't have to waste my time cutting fat off of these off of these pieces of meat because the fat's already pretty much gone grocery store I got all this I got most of this stuff at was at uh, HEB which are mostly in uh, Texas but you can mostly you can find the different kinds of you can find these you know chickens and most of your other grocery stores I mean chicken is chicken for the most part <laughs> but the naturally cut one the one that with the cut already with the fat pre-cut away from it some grocery stores will have them like that some of them won't this one does that's nice. You can appreciate that. All right, so that's the peppercorn. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the peppercorn over, back over here to my other plate that's over here. Separated, and then this is just a regular peppercorn. This is just a black peppercorn chicken. I would all, what I'll basically call the mild one. This is kind of a bigger piece, so I wanna cut it straight down the middle first. And then I wanna cut it into little pieces. I mean, eh, maybe not little squares, but decent sized squares. It may not look like a lot of chicken, but it, trust me, the, when you put it, when you put it on the wrap, you don't really need that many pieces on the wrap. But like I said, it just depends on how much you like to consume per day. If you're trying to, to stay somewhat healthy out here, you do want to try to stay around the 2000 calorie mark of course it's different for everybody's body type is different some people need a little a couple more calories but i'll tell you this if you when you, if you eat the normal typical truck driver kind of uh if you live that kind of lifestyle when it comes to eating you're more than likely consuming close to anywhere to three to 5,000 calories a day. That sounds, that sounds kind of crazy, but you got to think about it like this. When you're out here on the road, you can eat, you can, you, and if you don't cook for yourself or you just decide to eat takeout or truck stop food, you're going to, you, you know, you're going to stop at least two to three times a day in different areas. And you might just decide to pick up a meal at McDonald's, right? For for example, one meal at McDonald's, depending on how what size you get, right? If you get the large size, you know, the Big Mac or whatever, or the quarter pounder with cheese, that's already two. That's already fifteen hundred calories in one sitting. Do that two more times in a day, and you've already hit over three over three thousand calories, all pretty close to five thousand. 
add add uh add sodas if you're drinking 64 ounce sodas like some of these guys that i see out here they have these 64 ounce jugs and that's in itself uh, a ton of calories because 120 ounce drink a bottle right of the doc like let's just say coke is around 210 calories per bottle at 20 ounces so do that basically times three that's almost a thousand that's almost it's pretty close to six if not 600 700 calories of soda in that one 64 ounce jug you fill it up twice in a day that's you've already hit over almost 1200 calories in just soda so see how quick it is to get to, to get to 5,000 calories in a day on a truck driving lifestyle if you don't pay attention to what you're eating and you don't really care that much it's really really easy to get to get into the 5,000 calorie mark that's not even counting potato chips and other snacks and stuff that uh, aren't typically healthy for you if you decide to over consume you're gonna consume you're gonna get to that 5,000 calorie count really really quick and that's not something that you really want to do when you're out here every day and that's why unfortunately you'll see out here a lot there's a lot of guys out here that don't look very healthy don't look very healthy and you can tell which ones are the ones that may look like they take care of themselves and which ones are the ones that probably don't don't do it and uh, and what it is to me i mean i I'm going to be very, I, I'm usually very blunt about it, is that it's just that you don't care. You don't care enough about your health to make the necessary changes so that you don't fall into those traps. If you don't allow that to happen to yourself. If you allow it to happen to yourself, it's a choice. It's because you choose to do that. You choose to be, to be like that. You can make all the excuses you want. I don't got time that's mainly the biggest one is i don't got time i gotta drive well i mean if you're following dot regulations like all the rest of us should should be you're only driving 11 hours a day so what are you doing the other what, what are you doing with the other you know 13 hours in the day right got 24 hours in a day yeah you're, you're, you're you should be sleeping eight of them well, then that should give you what, what are you doing with the other five then? Right? And then you get 10 hours off. So what are you doing with all that time other than, you know, are you just sleeping and watching TV? If that's all you're doing with the time, that's a bad use of your time. So you can't you can't sit here and tell me that at least one of those days you can't come out here. You can't go to the grocery store buy some food like to actually cook and put in some effort to cook and i'll tell you this i'm gonna get it i'm gonna i'm gonna get into cooking this all in a minute because i'm pretty much uh, getting i'm gonna continue to prep my stuff now get this get my cooking pan here nice and warmed up while i'm doing that i'm gonna explain what i was explaining you don't even need to necessarily cook to be healthy a perfect example is what I just bought. Most grocery stores these days, I've started selling these pre-prepared salad kits. They usually come in different different kinds of styles with different kinds of setups, but they're all in the pack for you. Already chopped up, already ready. All you got to do is pour the ingredients into a bowl and then eat it. That's pretty much it. It's there's no there's there's really no cooking time involved in something like this and it's very filling so you can just buy like three or four of these to get you through a week or two they last they last pretty pretty good if you're eating if you're consuming them you're gonna eat through them you're not gonna waste them and if you look at the calorie counts on the bag it's 200 it's 200 per serving and there's about three and a half servings per container so max this whole entire thing has less than a thousand calories in it this whole bag is less than a thousand calories and you can get 
three and a half servings out of it. And this will be good enough to fill you up. So this, you can eat this, you can have one bag for let's just say two days, right? Cause you're probably gonna, you're not gonna probably eat this three times a day, you might eat something else. But this is a good thing to have. These are good to have. These are quick, healthy eats that you can do. Like you can make the choice to eat a little bit healthier out here. So you're not just becoming, you know, gluttonous out here. It's very easy to do that. But a lot of people like to make excuses and I'm like, well, I, I, I don't know why you make excuses. You shouldn't make excuses. I don't make excuses. The only excuse I make if I don't get the chance to cook my own food out here is because I made that choice for myself. I said I was being lazy. It's admittedly, you, you can admit it, you're going to be lazy sometimes out here. You're not always going to be able to be on point. Sometimes you're gonna, just going to be tired. You're just not going to really want to go through this trouble to cook. But like I said, you don't have to necessarily cook to be a healthy truck driver. You can do things like I just said. You can buy the salads instead, right? Still cheaper than, than buying a whole entire meal at McDonald's every day or going to steakhouses and every every day. And your body's your body's gonna be a lot uh, more happy. <laughs> your body's gonna like you a lot more when you uh, consume less junk and go and do things like this instead. Okay, so this is warming up. I'm gonna get it all nice and oiled up here. And now we're gonna cook the chicken for the wraps. We're gonna cook the chicken and then we're gonna cook the, the bacon. The bacon doesn't take that long. And this is another thing, another alternatives. Alternatives are always are always a good thing. And alternatives don't usually you taste too much different. In this case, this is turkey bacon is an alternative to pork, you know, your normal pork bacons. Pork bacon is very delicious but can be very fattening and can be very bad for you depending on how you cook it. Turkey bacon is is the good equivalent that you have to that. It's a good alternative, that's what I meant to say. Once again, I'll look at we'll look at the uh, the calorie count really quick. Per serving of bacon is 35 35 calories. And just look at the look at the sodium and the fat content. Fat con the total fat content is 2.5 grams. This is per slice, mind you, right? Here, here's the big one. Here's the two big ones that you want to pay attention to. Cholesterol and sodium. Take a look next time you, I don't have, I don't have a comparison right now, but next time you're at the grocery store, pick up a pack of regular bacon and look at the sodium count that's gonna be in there and the cholesterol count. It's gonna be through the roof. With one slice, you'd only hit less than 10% of your daily intakes per slice. So it's okay to cook two of these and eat two of these if you want, because you're only gonna be consuming 70, uh, 70 calories with two of these slices. And it's, gonna, it's not gonna taste too much different than pork. Like I said, alternatives, look for them whenever you can. It might cost a little bit more, but you know, it'll make you less fat. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and cook the black one first. Take it on there. One piece, this one over here. And I'm gonna put the pet medley over here. Okay, I'm gonna start putting it out a bit. Let the chicken cook. Try not to mix them together. That's the whole point of cooking them this way. Try to keep them uh, separate from each other. But yeah, yeah, guys. I mean, I'll tell ya, you. Yeah, if you followed a lot of my other videos and whatnot, a lot of my other cooking videos, I kind of say the same things over and over. But I feel like if I can drill something into your head, it's that if you're gonna be a truck driver out here, you want to. Sometimes you don't. You should try to cook for yourself a bit. And cooking can be a very delicious thing. 
cooking for yourself doesn't mean you're going to eat something that's not delicious. If you like something enough, and if you, and if you know your taste buds enough, you're going to cook something you like to eat. And I'll even tell you this, right? Even if you like, let's just say you like hamburgers, buy hamburger meat and cook it yourself. Cooking hamburger meat yourself is always better than going and eating takeout hamburgers all the time. Way more healthier. I wouldn't consume hamburgers every day, but make them for yourself sometimes. that cook all right so we're gonna let that cook and then once we're done with the chicken we're gonna put it out we're gonna put it in the container and then we're gonna cook some bacon So I separated the chicken. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and cook the turkey bacon. So I'm going to do three slices. And then like I said with this turkey bacon, once it's cooked and everything, it doesn't have too much of a different taste. I and mean, I'm not gonna lie to you and say that it, it tastes the same as pork bacon, because I'd be lying to you. However, not that much different. It's a great alternative. If you like bacon, but you don't like what bacon does to your body, <laughs> then buy some turkey bacon. Try it out. If you like, if you're a bacon lover, but you don't like what how the way bacon treats your body try turkey bacon give it a shot you never know you might be surprised so i got the chicken stored here in containers keep it warm for a little bit but yeah we're gonna go ahead and cook this bacon guys so the bacon is pretty much almost done one thing I wanted to show you before I take it off of the pan is just you can tell this is the, this is the difference between pork bacon and turkey bacon with the pork bacon with just three strips of these this thing would have been filled with with all of the bacon grease now I understand bacon grease is very delicious <laughs> and cooking with bacon grease grease is very delicious but it's absolutely horrible for your body but just look at how much grease and oil comes off of this turkey bacon virtually none of it really leaves the actual strips themselves just enough to cook it on its own without having to use oil but it's this is what why you, this has way less sodium content than normal bacon I like my bacon a little a little bit crispy so I kept it on the pan a little bit longer than usual if you don't like crispy bacon just you know take it off when you when you're ready for it but I like my bacon like this but yeah just look at how how very little grease comes off of these things it does have some grease don't get me wrong it's bacon right but not as much as normal pork bacon same results still delicious to eat 
a great alternative if you're not looking to consume too much uh, sodium, too much cholesterol from normal bacon. It's okay to have it every now and then though, normal pork bacon. Not saying there's anything wrong with it, but probably shouldn't consume it often. We're trying to stay healthy out here, guys. Okay, so these bacons are pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna put them over here to the side. And then we do the very last thing that we wanna cook on here. And I'm gonna lower the heat for this because I don't need that much heat. I'm gonna pretty much put my burner on about warm temperature. And honestly, you can leave it how it is. You don't, if you wanna wipe off all the, ex, all the excess grease and whatnot, you can. But for me, I feel like this is what it gives these wraps the extra flavor that I'm looking for. So now it's time to actually take out the, the tortilla. And I buy these Mission tortillas, which are pretty much you can find mostly at any uh, grocery store in the nation and even if it's not the mission brand i mean tortillas are everywhere and i buy the whole wheat ones they also have the spinach ones which are a good healthy alternative if you don't just want to buy just straight up flour the whole wheat ones are pretty uh, pretty good once again nutrition facts go on to the calorie count just so that i can show you one tortilla is 150 calories nothing even the sodium count is pretty low but nothing goes over 20 percent of your daily intake with these tortillas so healthy alternatives so now i'll just take one of these i'll just take one of them and we'll put them on the I'll put it on the burner here and let it get warm Warm it on each side for maybe about two minutes a piece. I'll turn up the heat just a little bit, maybe get it to 250. The key is just to get just to get the tortilla nice and warm. You don't want to over, you don't want to make it become, you know, uh, a tostada. <laughs> the point is to keep it a wrap. You don't want to make it into a tostada. And then the other thing with these wraps, guys, is you can you can eat them both ways. You can either do it, uh, you can eat them warm with all the ingredients, you know, like the chicken warm, the tortilla warm, the bacon warm, of course, and then it, and you add your, your greens and whatnot. Uh, or you can do it all, you can prep them and then put them in the fridge and let them get cold and you can eat them cold. Tastes, tastes good either way, in my opinion. But that's what I'm saying where it's like, this is your prep time here. Once you prep it, they're ready to eat regardless of whether or not you want to reheat them or just eat them out of the, out of the fridge like that. Okay. Flip it over, get it nice and warm. dressing for this is going to be light light ranch you can get this anywhere any grocery store and once again you know looking at your looking at your nutrition facts serving size is two tea, is two tablespoons it's about 30 milligrams or mill, excuse me milliliters and uh, that's 80 calories per serving which is not bad look at all the percentages here nothing goes over 20 percent of your daily intake of anything so you're once again you're good to go there light ranch of course if you get the regular ranch this number uh is going to be more closer to about the 120 range versus the 80 range So now that we got our tortilla nice and warm, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the burner off and I'm gonna move this tortilla over to our plate, our serving plate. I'm gonna move the burner off of the here. So we don't no longer need the burner anymore. Okay, 
So now we're ready to now we're ready to prepare everything onto the tortilla. So now I'm gonna take pick you pick whatever chicken you wanna you wanna pick here. If you wanna mix up your chicken, that's also one way to do it. So I'll go ahead, go ahead and open up my salad kit. And then you see it in the salad kit, you open it up, and right at the top is all the extra little goodies that come with the with the kit. In this case, this one's a, a kale blend, and it has dried cranberries, uh, pepitas, and a poppy seed dressing. They're all right here in this one bag. And you don't have to use it all in one sitting. You can just use what you need, and then ziplock the rest of it and put it in the fridge. So I'm not gonna need this right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the fridge, but on its own. Because right now I just want what's in here. Okay, and I'm also gonna add, this is something I already have, I'm gonna add some cheese. So I'm gonna add a Mexican, a Mexican blend of cheese. To this as well you don't have to do that if you don't want to I'm, I'm going to so now just as simple as putting everything together so you grab a couple pieces of chicken and you kind of spread it out on your wrap you really don't need that much about that's probably good there and look at how much I have of the one of the portions of chicken I have left this is probably another another or another wrap here and then I have another probably two wraps so I have a total of maybe about three to four wraps total that I can make with all with everything that I made today then I'm gonna take the bacon one strip of bacon and I'm just gonna kind of break it up into the wrap as well do the same thing and break it into little pieces piece for me <laughs> wow that's pretty good not that much of a difference from pork bacon mm. okay so then now we add our greens so it's gonna shake up the bag a little bit to kind of mix up the mix of a bit stuff it too too much because then it won't be able to close it the nice thing about these salad kits is that they are made with fresh ingredients it's not it's not processed uh, it's not processed greens they're I wouldn't say they're 100% organic you know or whatever but they're they're good natural ingredients So this would be the same if you bought all of the greens separately and then cut them up yourself. All this does is it's just pre-cut and prepped for you in the bag already so that you don't have to go through the trouble of cutting it all up and mixing it, which can be a little bit, um, a little tough, especially when you're in a truck and you don't have enough room in a fridge, depending on what size fridge you have, to stuff, you know, a whole thing of, of lettuce, a whole thing of kale, a whole thing of... Um, cabbage and all the other greens that that you want to that, you, that you'd want to mix into a salad, you don't have enough room for all that. So this way, it's already pre cut for you in the bag. Do this, and then I'm gonna throw a little a little cheese on the top of it. Uh, probably about that much should be good. Put the rest back in the bag, and then I want to add the ranch. This. And we're gonna add and we're gonna add the ranch. So I'm gonna go about like that. Should be good. You don't wanna overdo it with the ranch. That should be good. I probably overdid it because a little bit spilled over here, but that's fine. But you don't wanna you probably just go over it one time. If you go over it twice, you'll be putting a hell of it's gonna be like overwhelmingly a lot of overwhelming ranch 
Okay, and then from here, this is the fun part, right? Pretty much gonna gonna wrap it up like a burrito, like you would a burrito kind of thing. Just take all your ingredients up, kind of wrap them in the tortilla like that. Wrap the tortilla around, then roll it, burrito style, like this. Keep it on that side there for a minute. Lick your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> give your fingers a little lick because you got all this yummy goodness on your hands while you did that and the very last thing is you know clean off clean off your knife that you used earlier get it all nice and clean and then cut your wrap so cut your wrap about right in the center nice clean cut down the middle and then there you go. Delicious chicken baked bacon ranch wraps. So now, yep, delicious bacon ranch wraps. Now I can move the camera and give you a better look of what they look like. And there you go. Chicken bacon ranch wraps. And like I said, you can eat these just like this nice and warm you can you can prep them cut them up put them in ziploc bags put them in the fridge and then cool, get them nice and cool and eat them that way too guys but yeah not bad at all guys real easy to make real delicious a good healthy alternative out here yummy 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 yummy